and welcome back to RJ Outdoors. Summer's finally here. I've got a poor excuse for 99. You broke my plate. Um, yeah. Catch up with me on a sandy North Norfolk beach. Tonight, um, I'm going to camp in some sand dunes. Um, obviously, it's dunes here, but we're going to go further along there. Uh, I'm waiting for the other half to turn up. This is Hazard Outdoors. Uh, he should be joining me any minute, but I'm going to get this in me. Like I said, fine, summer's finally here, and the ice cream's melting. So catch up with me, and hopefully him, in a bit. Here he is. Hazard Outdoors, as I said. He's finally met me here. So when you were, when you were driving down, and I was in my eye, Someone's left their towel in the car and it's not me. Um, I would say a swim, but from my experience of the cold water challenge, etc., um, it's probably not going to be a swim, but it's going to be a decent paddle. Up to my knees, I'm hoping. I hope. The duck shorts are back. Woohoo! Seal guys, come right in close. I know you were enjoying looking at me and Carl having a swim, but it looks like we've been joined by a little friend. It's gone now. So we're up in the dunes. Um, we have picked this spot because we've got cover from the dunes there. Um, we've got a little bit of cover here, but the grass is fairly long. So we're going bivvy bags tonight. Um, Carl's got his Dutch Army hooped bivvy. And I have got a British Army BPM, uh, Gore-Tex, all that um, bivvy bag with my British Army jungle bag. And I've also got a British Army basher, which I'll put on the floor because it's British Army, Carl. It's all the way forward, mate. Yeah, so British Army from me all the way. Carl's not going Dutch Army all the way, just with his uh, Bibby. So yeah, he's setting his up now. Um, I'm gonna eat before I set mine up. So he's going here, because he snores, so we've got to be at least 10 metres apart. So it's about five. So yeah, I've got this nice little flattish bit of ground here. Um, flat bits behind me, so that's where I'm going. Um, we've got all the dog walkers now coming. Walking their dogs. This is where we're going to settle in for the night. But I'm, I'm getting hungry now, so I'm going to get the dinner on. I've already opened the beer. I'm trying the rebels. And I'll just give you some sort of idea. So this is this is the ground I'm going to be sleeping on. Cover. Yeah. And there, uh, got grass all around me. You can see. I don't know if I'm going to lay this way or this way yet because where I'm laying now is a little dip but that way might be a better view for the morning because we're going to get sunset oh, sunset yes we're going to get sunset that way we're going to get sunrise over there that's if uh, <laughs> we're up in time I don't know how many beers we have tonight I reckon right it's tea time Cooking on gas. Not yet, I'm not. Um, got my little pan. Um, for dinner tonight, I have got, it's not well famous because I haven't really chatted about it. Well, I did a little bit in that free cook ingredients challenge. This is RJ Outdoors Cowboy Stew. And in this, obviously, you can see I've got baked beans, there's potato, there's hot dog sausages, hot dogs. 
um, potatoes. Um, I do minced beef. Um, put some like barbecue spices in there, cumin, things like that, and cook it like you would a stew. Um, a bit of sweet corn, bacon as well, smoked bacon. So it's not really for veggies. Obviously, you can't get gold. Um, no one else wanted it, obviously. So what I've done is I froze it in these plastic tubs, bring it out with me, heat it up. It's a quick, easy meal. Um, to make enough for four portions, it cost me about just over four quid, I think, for all the ingredients. So a pound of portion, good food, really enjoyable. And then for pudding, from a ration pack, I have got a maple bun. Which, uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to because I haven't actually tried these yet. So, yeah, I'll let you know later how I got on with it. Oh, that was some banging food, I must say. But of course it was, because I cooked it. I haven't had my dessert yet. Boy. So I got set up, because as you can see, the sun is setting. There's Hazard. Gives a wave. You just see your head. Gives a wave. Stick your arm up. Stick your arm up. And... There he is. I'm just... Anyway, so this is my setup. British Army Gore-Tex bivy bag. And inside is... So in there is my basher. Um, I don't think I'm going to need it because the ground's not wet and it's not going to rain, hopefully. So I'm going to use it as my pillow. Uh, in there is my British Army jungle bag. There it is. And underneath that is a self-inflating mat. That's it. Me. Done. Easy peasy, squeezy lemons. That's it. I'm sure I tuck it all away so I don't want any... Mozzies or anything getting in there. That's it. So what we're probably gonna do is he's now Carl is now cooking his tea. Um obviously I've had mine and we're probably just gonna chill out. We've worked out that we don't think anybody can see us, so it's all gravy, isn't it? All gravy. But down there, I'll show you in the morning, I'll take a photo, but if I can get your video I will. Someone's bought a bloody eight man tent and there's about 12 of them, about 12 people in there in that big old tent, There's loads, but they're in the dunes like we are, but they can be seen, we can't, so if anyone gets moved on tonight, hopefully it's them, because I've got a funny feeling that they're antisocial, so yeah, not our type of people, putting that way, right, All right, like I said, I'm going to crack the beer, crack my second one, it's gone, it's over there, um, Got my Gore-Tex Army Bivy, Gore-Tex British Army Gore-Tex Army jacket with me as well. So, as he said, all British Army down. The control fire on Carl's. Not Kyle. I don't know why I was going to call you Carl then. Not Kyle. Carl. Um, his little uh, little baby firebox. That's my fiver. Mm. And we're going to toast some marshmallows because we're, we're men. And men do that sort of do, Men do this sort of crap. As I keep telling Laura. Yeah, we Firebox can... Nano. That's what it is. is it? Firebox Nano, yeah. There you go. Excuse me. So I found some twigs, but because we're near the sea, they're a bit soft. And salty. Salty as well. Okay. 
eating it. Mm. Man, it <laughs> Luckily, we don't need to worry about social distance no more. No, we don't. Today is uh, Freedom Day. Or Apparently. What, was that? what do you want to call it? <laughs> COVID. <laughs> COVID Day. COVID Freedom Day. We'll be free to run around at them. That's right. Oh. Oh, they're cool. It says on there, look, don't eat them hot. Is, it, is that what it says? Caution, hot when barbecued. Don't Children you? should be supervised at all times. Uh, um, we need a... Oh, yeah. We need can supervision. We adult, we'll put it on YouTube afterwards, so there'll be some adults watching it. Yeah. Same thing. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what it says on the bag. Mm. Well, the Americans put a biscuit in between it, didn't they? Like a digestive um, biscuit. Yeah, I can't remember what it. S'mores, that's it. S'mores or s'mores. Yeah. But yeah, we uh, haven't got biscuits. We're a bit British. And I forgot. We'd have rich tea or something. Yeah, digestive. Mmm. Mmm. They're definitely toasted. Mm. Right, that's me in the old bib bag. Got the jungle bag. Nice thing about my jungle bag is it has a built-in bug in it. So in a minute, oh, I will get the hood up like this. Get the old bug net on just in case. Um, the time is just before 11. Um, obviously we had our marshmallows. We had a little fire going, a little chat. Um, we started listening to Phone Jacker podcast, which is brand new. So anyone. We grew up like we did in what was it, the early noughties, early 2000s, right through, wasn't it? Phone Jacker, uh, was it late? Oh, I can't remember, anyway. Yeah, great, Phone Jacker, remember it on Channel 4? Now, uh, Guy Now Does a Podcast, it's brand new, pretty funny. So if you like that sort of thing, check that out. Let's so listen to that, had a few beers. Yeah, it's a good evening, really good. Um, yeah, bivy bag, I haven't done a bivy bag for ages. So excited about tonight's sleep. Um, yeah. um, so stars are out. Um, I haven't got a great camera on my phone. It's pretty good at video, but I'm going to try and get a few photos of the night sky. <laughs> Carl's back. Let's just pop his head around. I saw a little torch. Well, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Oh, it's warm right over here, isn't it? It's lovely. And, oh, I got cold. That's why I'm in my sleeping bag. Anyway. Um, yeah, see you in the morning. Morning. Oh, sunrise. Put the bag in my face. Oh. Yeah, a very odd night's sleep, I must say. But I have just finished working nights, so it might have been my sleep pattern. Rather than where I was. Oh. Inside that. <sighs> Yeah, Hazard's not up yet. He said he would get up for the sunrise, but... He's not up. The sun is well and truly up now. 
So is Mr. Hazard. There he is. You didn't say that. There he is. He's up. He kind of woke me up because I fell back asleep, which is very rare for me. Well, like I said, I've just finished night, so it's acceptable, I think. Right, brekkie time. You know, oh, I press the button. You know, I'm light for my brekkies, but this morning we're going simple, very simple. So I'm gonna have get the kettle on, and then pour some water and have a coffee and that and then we'll go down on the beach and I got home. I had a quite actually decent sleep and like I said it was on and off and all sorts of weird stuff going on but I blame that on my just finishing nights. Hmm. That's where I was. Beautiful morning, I'm going to keep saying it. It's going to get out quite warm, I think. Still got a little bit of the breeze. Yeah. Right, so I've eaten my breakfast, and that's my pitch where I was. Um, I've been around and collected all the beer cans, haven't we? Yeah. He's ready, look. Bag of rubbish, all my stuff in that bag, my tripod. And there's a topless man walking his dog. <laughs> He's running with his dog. Little treat for you. Little treat for you. Right, we're gonna head off now and carry on with our day. Who knows what we're gonna do? You got much plan? Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna go to my home and have a cup of tea or coffee. And a poo. And the and the toilet. Yeah. Because it's like that. Anyway, I'll probably chat to get on the beach. Say ta-da. I like that. And I'm going to try and show you this eight man tent in the dunes up here. Also, I forgot to say, I didn't get to eat my, my uh, maple bun thing last night. Sticky bun, whatever it was. I can't remember what it's called now. It's in there. But anyway, I did get to eat that, so that's a treat for you all another time. Just like this topless man throwing a ball for his dog. He has run all the way. Yeah, I'll give him that. Excuse the wind noise, but this is that big eight man tent that we were telling you about last night. Um, we were going to get closer, we walked past it last night, but they were already up, so but yeah, I'm going to stop and film. Look at that fucking stealthy camper, and leave no trace. <laughs> oh well, we didn't get disturbed, they didn't really keep us awake. Well, that was a very enjoyable little camp, that was, I think, Carl. Shame we couldn't go fully swimming, you know. I did. You must have missed it. Oh, yeah. yeah I think <laughs> I, I might have done. All right, that's it. We're uh, walking back to the car. Obviously, we were up in the, the sand dunes behind me. Um, somewhere further along. Yeah, it's very nice. We might be brave enough one day and do it down here. Oh, yeah, I've done it. But... That'll be a that'll be a definitely a late night setup jobby, especially now because we're coming into the height of summer. And the, all you lovely holiday makers are coming down. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching this video, um, and I'll see you all soon. Oh, we'll go